Hello and welcome to Meet the Teacher for Beach Class. I'm Miss Gibbs and I'm going to be in Beach Class next year. We're going to play a little game before we get started. So I've written three statements here, but one of them is a lie. Can you figure out which one is incorrect? So the statements are, I've taught some children in this year group before. So the year group coming up, I've taught some of you before. I have two Dalmatians or I am getting married next year. Which one do you think is a lie? Have a think. Some of you may already know because you know me quite well. So have a think. I'll give you some time and then I'll let you know. OK, you've had 30 seconds to have a think about it. So let's go through these statements. First one said, I have taught some children in this year group before. That one is true. If you had me this year in key stage one, I taught you. And if you're going into year four next year, I taught some of you when you were in year two. So some of you may know me already, which is going to be lovely. And I'll know some of you as well. The second one, I have two Dalmatians. That is the lie. I do not have two Dalmatians, but my partner's family do. So I do know two Dalmatians, but they're not mine. And so the last one is also true. I am getting married next year. So the year you've got me in the April, I'll be getting married. So my name may change and then you might have to remember a new one. So we'll see how that goes. For those of you that don't know me, this is me in pictures. So this person, if I just get my pointer out here, this is me. You may have seen me around school. Some of you may have not. So this up here is my family. This person on the end is the person I'm getting married to in April. And then you've got my dad, my mum and my little brother, even though he is taller than me, he's still younger than me. Um, what I love to do is I love to go on holiday and unfortunately I haven't been away recently because of everything that's going on. But here's some pictures of me on holiday that I recently went on. When I am on holiday, I love to take pictures. So these are some of the wildlife I have seen on holiday and was able to take pictures of. If you look very closely, there's three kangaroos there. They were very exciting to see in Australia. Another thing about me is I love Disney. Anything Disney, I love it. I've been to Disneyland a few times. But I would love to go back again. And as you can see, it inspires me down here. I do a lot of drawing in my spare time and it inspired me to make this Disney piece of art. So I love to sit at home and just doodle in my spare time. Um, last year, during lockdown, I got this little kitten here. Her name is Misty and she makes life much more fun having her around. So she's just turned one. So we've had her for a whole year now and she's lovely. So when you join in September, these are some of the things we will be learning about. In our curriculum lessons, we're going to be looking at the Stone Age. So maybe you could do some research on that at home and then you can learn all about it in September. We'll be looking at cave art doing that, maybe some jewellery that they made. Maybe we'll have a go at making some of our own, which will be very fun. We're going to start our, off our maths with place value. So some of you are already amazing at that, but we are going to go to three digits, maybe even four digits. So have a think about that maybe over summer. In RE, we're going to be looking at Hinduism and in PE, we're going to be starting off with some football skills. So some of you will get to show them off when we come back. During the rest of the year, we've got some lots of lovely and exciting things to be doing. So in reading, we're going to be reading Harry Potter at some point during the year, which is very exciting. I know lots of you love Harry Potter. We're going to be looking at forces and magnets in science, the human body, other curriculum lessons. We're going to be looking at rivers and China, which is very exciting. We might do some art around the Chinese plates, creating our own ones. And in music, you're going to get your chance to try your own brass instruments when they come in and teach us. So that's very exciting. Can't wait to hear some brass instrument playing during music. So that's me. I'm Miss Gibbs, your new teacher for next year. And I hope you have an amazing holiday and make sure you keep safe. And I can't wait to meet you all properly in September. Bye.